To create this glitch effect, you want to, just like always, get yourself a fresh new project in After Effects. Go ahead and press OK. And we're going to start on the very first thing, which is, of course, to get yourself either a logo, text, or even a video if you wanted to. So you just want to left click and drag this into After Effects. You want to press S for scale and then just set this one to 18% to scale it down. Once you've done that, we're going to minimize this. From here, you want to left click on your logo to select it and go ahead and press Ctrl and D three times. Right click on here and go to rename. We're going to call the first one R. You want to right click on the second one, go to rename and call this one G. And then for the last one, right click on here, go to rename and call this one B. You want to left click on the top one, hold shift, left click on the bottom one, and then you want to right click on here and go to pre-comp. Once you're in the pre-composition, we're going to call this glitch and then RGB. You want to make sure you move all attributes into this new composition and then go ahead and press OK. Now that you've done that, we can double left click on here to open this up. So to create the RGB split, all you have to do is go into the effects and presets and search for a channel and you'll see something called a channel mixer. You want to get yourself this effect and apply it onto the R. So for the R, we're going to get rid of the green. We're going to get rid of the blue. And this is just going to leave us with the red channel. Now that you've done that, we're going to hide this one. And we're going to do the same for the green channel. Once again, left click and drag this effect onto the G. You want to get rid of the red and get rid of the blue. And then finally, do the same for the very last one. Hide the green and get yourself the channel mixer for the B. Get rid of the red. We're going to get rid of the green and we can only have the blue channel for this one. So now that you've done that, we can unhide all of them and you want to go into the mode. Now, if you don't see the mode, you can just click on here and set this one to add. You want to set all of them to a add. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we'll want to go ahead and go back into the effects and we want to search for an effect called wiggle. There'll be a wiggle position. You want to left click on here and drag this one onto your R layer right underneath the channel. So what this is going to do is it's going to make the red, blue, and green channel move. You want to set the wiggle speed to 1.9 and then set the amount to 1055. You want to go into the green channel, get yourself the wiggle position, set the wiggle speed to 1.3 and the amount to 300. And then finally, the very last one, once again, wiggle position onto the blue channel, set the speed to 1.6 and the wiggle amount to 800. And if you play this, you can see that the channels move. We can right click on here and get ourselves a new adjustment layer. For the new adjustment layer, we're going to get ourselves a effect called Fractal and you'll see a Fractal noise. You just want to left click and drag this into the adjustment layer. And from here, we we'll want to set this to basic. You want to set it to a block. We're going to set the contrast to 592. We're also going to set the brightness to 50. And then we're going to also open up the transform and you want to untick the uniform scaling. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to set the width to 1007 and we're going to change the scale height to 349. From here, we want to also change the complexity to 20 and we want to scroll further down and go to the blend mode, set this one to multiply. And what this will do is, of course, it will just give it some really cool variations to the glitch. We need to hold Alt and then left click onto the stopwatch for the evolution and type in time times 3000. 
you can then left click off of this and this will just animate the effect right here as you can see we're going to minimize this you just shrink this down and then only apply it to certain areas so from here we can once again get ourselves another adjustment layer by going to new and getting ourselves a adjustment layer now with this one what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves an effect called noise drag this onto your new adjustment it will just allow you to get yourself some noise and we also want to get ourselves an effect called glow now with the glow you want to left click drag this underneath your noise 100 percent for the threshold you want to set the radius to 1000 set the intensity to 3 and we're going to change the compositioning or composite original to on top you also want to change the glow operation to normal okay so now that we've got ourselves the effect we want to also apply the glitch you want to go back to comp 1 right click in the empty area go to new and get yourself a solid in here you can leave it as default and go ahead and press ok so with this one what we're going to do is we're going to right click on here and you want to get yourself a pre-comp we're going to call this glitch and once again you want to move all attributes into this new composition you then want to go ahead and press ok and then once again you want to double left click on here to open it up so from here you want to make sure you select in your solid go back into the effects and search for a fractal noise once again get ourselves the fractal noise from here we want to make sure it's set to basic you want to set the noise type to block you want to set the contrast to 200 you want to set the brightness to minus 20 open the transform up and make sure that you untick the uniform scaling so speaking of width and the height you want to set the width to 4000 and you want to set the height to 750. once you've done that we can then close this down or minimize it and then we can also open up the evolution options hold alt and then left click on the stopwatch for the evolution and once again we'll want to type in time times and then 3000 and then you can left click off this and this will just create ourselves the animation we can then minimize all of this we can go back into the comp one and you just want to hide the glitch layer right here and now that you've got yourself the reference you want to right click in the empty area go to new and get yourself a new adjustment layer so with this new adjustment layer we're going to go back into the effects and search for an effect called this and you will see something called displacement map you want to left click drag this into the adjustment and the first thing is of course is to set the source or the link to the glitch i normally set it to 139 for the horizontal and then the vertical to 96. now the only thing is is going to glitch throughout your whole video so what you need to do is you need to determine which areas you want it to glitch and to do this you want to scale this down so if you drag the corner make it smaller and only create yourself blocks like this to areas you want it to glitch now you also want to do the same for the rgb so you want to shrink this down and only make it visible right here so it's going to be normal and then once it reaches here that is when it's going to start glitching next minute you can press Control shift and d once again you can create yourself another gap where it's normal and you just want to randomize this as much as possible but once again you would get yourself the adjustment layer and this time you would just press Control and d to get yourself a copy of it but you want to make sure that you sync these two together so whenever you've got yourself the glitch effect you also want to get yourself the rgb glitch and then finally the very last thing that you can do is you can left click on here hold shift click on the top one right click on here and then go to pre-composition for the final time call this glitch and move all attributes into this one go ahead and press ok 
And the reason why we've done this is because if you go to your folder, you can get yourself a background and drag this underneath your glitch effect. So no matter what we do now, it's not going to affect the background. It's going to leave it as normal. And then of course, later on, you can start to add in the sound effects. So it's really simple. You can just go on YouTube and type in TV glitch. And the key to this is of course, you want to match the video with the sound. So whenever it glitches and you hear the glitching sound, that is when you want it to glitch. Now, one final note before I end this video, if you wanted to add yourself some text, what you would do is you would go to the area. We would select ourselves the logo and also the RGB split. And from here, you would press Control, Shift and D. And all you have to do now is press Delete. So all you have to do is go to the text tool, left click on the screen, drag this out and then type in your text. So the key to this is that you want to have your text right at the end right here. You want to make sure that this one is underneath the adjustment layers. From here, you can drag the adjustment out above your text. Now, if you want the RGB in the background, same as the logo, you would also need to create yourself a separate RGB for the text as well. And that's pretty much it. That is how you create the glitch effect in After Effects.